Okay. <clears throat> so for this evening, we will we'll just do Vajrasattva practice, nice and gentle, just to get ourselves warmed up into the retreat atmosphere. So for tonight, um, just take a minute and get yourself into a meditation posture. And really breathe into your body very consciously and decisively becoming present. and become aware of what it feels like in your body right now. Making kind adjustments, not forcing yourself to sit in a way that hurts. A little discomfort is a good training, but pain is not useful. So make sure you're sitting in a way that feels really stable. You might need to lift the seat behind you a little bit so your tailbone is supported. Or if you're in a chair, you might need to add a cushion behind you so you're sitting upright, very straight. Check in with your knees, make sure that they're not straining. You might wanna add a cushion underneath one or two of them. and just be in the body. Move your focus up and down your spine, bringing it into balance. Imagining each vertebrae stacked atop the other, perfectly straight, like a tower of coins, with your chin gently tucked in. And then consciously shift your focus to the breath. And see if you can just be with your breath without an agenda, without anticipating, without reminiscing. Just a quiet steadiness with that simple inner object. 
allowing the day to settle. attentive and focused without stress or tightness, relaxed at ease without sliding into sleep, try and find that balance even if just for a few seconds or a few breaths. And when your focus drifts, just gently catch it, come back, no big deal.
And now shift to visualization. Visualize about four inches above your head, an open white lotus, upon which is a moon disk. Bajasattva is seated upon this. His holy body is translucent white and adorned with the six ornaments and cloths of celestial silk. His right hand is a vajra, symbolizing great bliss. In his left hand is a bell, symbolic of the wisdom of emptiness. The vajra and bell together signify his attainment of the enlightened state, the inseparable unity of the wisdom and form bodies. At his heart is a moon disk with the seed syllable whom at its center and the letters of Vajrasattva's hundred syllable mantra standing clockwise around its edge. And so take a minute and stabilize the visualization. In refuge in bodhicitta allowed. I take refuge in the three jewels. I will liberate all sentient beings and lead them to enlightenment. Thus I perfectly generate the mind dedicated to attaining enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. I take refuge in the three jewels. I will liberate all sentient beings and lead them to enlightenment. Thus, I perfectly generate the mind dedicated to attaining enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. I take refuge in the three jewels. I will liberate all sentient beings and lead them to enlightenment. Thus, I perfectly generate the mind dedicated to attaining enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. So holding the visualization and awareness of Vajrasattva, add refuge in bodhicitta, strongly from your heart. And with refuge in bodhicitta, embodied by Vajrasattva above your crown, generate the power of regret. And so think of negative actions that you've done physically, verbally, and mentally, today and in general, that will result in suffering unless they are purified. And so recognize a fault to be a fault, without guilt, without over-identification, just acknowledgement and responsibility taking, not heavy, physically, verbally, mentally, what?
and the prayer. The negative karma I have accumulated from beginningless time is as extensive as the ocean. Although I know that each negative action leads to countless eons of suffering, it seems that I'm constantly striving to create nothing but negative actions. Even though I try to avoid non-virtue and practice positive acts, day and night without respite, negativities and ethical downfalls come to me like rainfall. I lack the ability to purify these faults so that no trace of them remains. With these negative imprints in my mind, death will come suddenly and without warning. I could find myself falling to an unfortunate rebirth. My closest friend from a past life could be suffering there even now. I may be tormented there myself by this time next year. What can I do? Please, Vajrasattva, with your great compassion, guide me from such misery. And so have that sense of urgency and importance without anxiety, without agitation. But as if you had swallowed poison and needed to find the antidote quickly. But you have the antidote. So we take it. And so visualize from the whom at Vajrasattva's heart, light radiates in all directions, requesting the Buddhas to bestow their blessings. They accept the request and send white rays of light and nectar, the essence of which is the knowledge of their body, speech, and mind. The nectar and light absorb into the whom and letters of the mantra at Vajrasattva's heart. They then fill his whole body completely, enhancing the magnificence of his appearance and increasing the brilliance of the mantra at his heart until it shines with the light of 100,000 moons reflected by snowy mountains. While we recite the mantra, Rays of white light and nectar stream down continuously from the whom and mantra at Vajrasattva's heart. They flow down through the crown of your head and fill every cell of your body and mind with infinite bliss. And so stabilize that visualization before we add the mantra to it. And first we purify the body. So visualize that your disturbing attitudes and negativities in general, particularly those of the body, take the form of black ink. Sickness takes the form of pus and blood. Afflictions caused by spirits appear in the form of scorpions, snakes, frogs, and crabs, flushed out by the light and nectar. They all leave your body through the lower openings, like filthy liquid flowing from a drain pipe. Feel completely empty of these problems and negativities as they no longer exist anywhere. And so hold that visualization related to the body. And then we add the mantra seven times. Un Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Padishta Dido Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anarakta Me Bawa Sawa Siri Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Me Siram Shriyam Kuru Hum Aha Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa tata gata vadra mame mutsa vadra bawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe. Om vadra sattva samaya manu palaya vadra sattva deno bodhisha dido me bawa sudo kayo me bawa supo kayo me bawa anorakto me bawa sawa siri me prayatsa sawa kama sutsa me 
Tiram Triam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vadra Mame Mutsa Vadra Bawa Maha Samaya Satpa Ahum Pain Om Vadra Satpa Samaya Manupalaya Vadra Satpa Deno Padisha Dido Me Bawa Suto Kaya Me Bawa Supo Kaya Me Bawa Anarakto me bawa, sawa siri me prayatsa, sawa kama sutsa me, sidam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho bhagawa, sawa tata gata vadra mame musa vadra bawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe. And do four more at your own speed, under your breath. Om vadra sattva samaya. Finishing up the mantra that you're on. And shift to purifying the speech. Your disturbing attitudes and the imprints of negativities of speech take the form of liquid tar. The light and nectar fill your body as water fills a dirty glass. The negativities like dirt rise to the top and flow out through the upper openings of your body, your eyes, ears, mouth, nose, etc. Feel completely empty of these problems. They are gone forever. Holding that visualization, add the mantra. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Bari Shadiro Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anorakto Me Bawa Sawa Siri Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawa Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe. On vajra sattva samaya manu palaya vajra sattva deno barishta dira me bawa sudo kaya me bawa supo kaya me bawa anarakta me bawa sawa siri me prayatsa sawa kama sutsa me Siddham Triyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagao Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sattva Ahum Te Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Parisha Dido Me Bhava Sutho Kaya Me Bhava Supo Kaya Me Bhava Anarakta me bawa, sawa siri me prayatsa, sawa kama sutsa me, siddham shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho bhago, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe. Four more 
under your breath. Om Vajrasattva Samayama. Finishing up the mantra that you're on. And switch to purifying the mind. Your disturbing attitudes and imprints of mental activities appear as darkness at your heart. As you recite the mantra, immeasurable and unimaginably powerful rays of light and nectar pour down from Vajrasattva's heart and penetrate the crown of your head. When struck by the forceful stream of light and nectar, the darkness instantly vanishes. It is like turning on a light in a room. The darkness does not go anywhere, it simply ceases to exist. Feel that you're completely empty of all these problems, they are non-existent. Holding that visualization, adding the mantra. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Parisha Dido Me Bawa Sudo Kaya Me Bawa Supo Kaya Me Bawa Anorakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawa Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Deno Parisha Dido Me Bawa Sudo Kaya Me Bawa Supo Kaya Me Bawa Anorakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawa Sama Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sapa Deno Parisha Dero Me Bawa Sudo Kaya Me Bawa Supo Kaya Me Bawa Anarakta me bawa, sawa siddhi me prayatsa, sawa kama sutsa me, siddham shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame musa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe. Four more, under your breath. Om vajra sattva samaya manu
finishing the mantra that you're on. And then the simultaneous purification. Do the three visualizations simultaneously. This sweeps away the subtle obscurations that prevent you from seeing correctly all that exists. Feel completely free of these obscurations. Doing that visualization. You can add the mantra as well if you haven't finished 21. Om Bhajasapasamaya. And then think that Vajrasattva is completely ple is extremely pleased and says, my spiritual child of the essence, all your negativities, obscurations, and degenerated vows have now been completely purified. Generate strong confidence and faith that all is completely purified, just as Vajrasattva has said. And shift to the power of resolve, the promise to refrain from negative actions with a reasonable goal. Think I shall not create these negative actions from now until, and really be reasonable about how long you can stay mindful. Vow never to commit again those actions from which you can easily abstain, and not to commit for a day, an hour, or at least a few seconds those negative actions from which you find it difficult to abstain. So before Vajrasattva's compassionate gaze, think physically, verbally, and mentally, what patterns can I reasonably change?
and think with delight, Vajrasattva dissolves into light and absorbs into you. Your body, speech, and mind become inseparably one with Vajrasattva's holy body, speech, and mind. Concentrate on this. And think in emptiness, there is no I, creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. There is no negative karma created. Place your mind in that emptiness for a little while. In this way, look at all phenomena as empty. They do not exist from their own side. Not the agent, not the action, not the object. None of it from its own side. and dedicate. Due to this merit, may I soon attain the enlightened state of Vajrasattva, that I may be able to liberate all sentient beings from their sufferings. May the precious Bodhi mind not yet born arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore. Okay, so we'll meet again tomorrow at 7.30 Pacific in the morning, and uh, have a nice night. Thanks, everyone.